Yeah. Okay, and finally, to my new wife. Come here. Mrs. Debbie Aldridge. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife uh, for agreeing to marry me and for making me the happiest man in the world. Uh, I think you'll agree that she looks absolutely gorgeous today. Uh, I want to see her at the top of the aisle, which you took my breath away. Yes, I know. So, what can I say for Debbie? Have you got another card? Leave the things alone. Top of your head, Ben. Top of your head. Right, I seem to have lost my card. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry, hold on. I've got to call the top of your head here. Mike, Mike, right. I need a massive favour, mate. I'm one of the mother's feet here, and I've lost my car, so the mother's feet here, right? She's going to kill me. Right. Can I get yeah, yeah, they're all looking at me, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, can you get here and help me out? What, you, you're here now? Good, brilliant. Great, okay. Right, I'm in bow there, guys. Um, I'd like to introduce the guy who's going to finish off my, my speech. Mike the Minstrel. Greetings, I am the Wandering Minstrel, and I come in search of the Fur Maid Debbie. And I need you to come over here, Debbie, please. And then, you see, I am the Wandering Minstrel, and I have been told all about Debbie. Some of it you might not want me to know about, but I have written a song all about you. <laughs> Debbie, here is your song that's all about you. Now, Debbie, it's your wedding day. Yeah. Ben has got some things to say. He was getting tongue tied. And it was coming out wrong So he sent for this minstrel To say it in song You were an old fresh supervisor <laughs> He was a senior manager too In Morrison's in Bilston Where he fell in love with you <laughs> And then he said If he wasn't with you He'd have money in hand <laughs> but we know he wouldn't change a single thing And though he's no hair around his ears And he seems to have aged about 15 years To know that he has you He'd give up everything Morrison staff nights out for sure You had your first kiss on the dance floor You both disappeared To be alone out here And so I should reveal To the others here That you weren't feeling unwell <laughs> As in the excuse you used And you hadn't just been sick
<laughs> I could see the tears were coming there. <laughs> Debbie, let me ask you, what's it like to have a song written all about you? <laughs> Is it lovely? Oh, it's fantastic, that's great. Now, you've both been holding this for me, but I'd like to present it to you now. On that side, you'll see some photographs. But if you turn it over, you've got the lyrics to the song that I've just sung for you. That's for you to keep. But I can do better than that because here I have a full band production or the OCD of the very song that I've just sung. Brilliant. And you can play that whenever you like. Uh, okay, so before I go, all that remains for me to say is three cheers for Debbie and Ben. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Debbie and Ben, I hope you enjoyed the song I sang for you and the CD when you get to play it. Uh, I just want to wish you the very best and happiest life together from the Wandering Minstrel. Thank you. Brilliant. Perfect.